Well, joining us now is Alan Napleton, and he is the president of Cap Catholic Marketing Network and has been on Catholic TV before. He joins us today to talk about that fantastic trade show which brings together Catholic retailers and artists. Alan, thanks so much for being with us. How are you doing? Gentlemen, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Where are you calling us from? Uh, we are, uh, I'm calling you from the uh, uh, Fort Worth area. Of course, the Dallas-Fort Worth area is home to two large dioceses, two large, very uh, growing dioceses. As, uh, as I was listening to you talk about um, San Antonio, Texas is one of those uh, states that um, um, is just uh, growing tremendously, and our offices, our CMN offices, uh, have been located in either the Dallas or Fort Worth area uh, since we founded the organization nearly 25 years ago. Wow. Well, the Catholic Marketing Trade Show is, is on the move to Chicago okay. this year. Tell us about the change, that big change. Well, we, um, we, we move the event around to different cities in the country. We've been in about a dozen different cities. We've been to the West Coast. We've, uh, we've held the event in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We've been in Florida. We've been, been up in the Northeast. Uh, we're returning to Chicago after about a 10-year hiatus. So Chicago, of course, is a very dynamic uh, Catholic area. And we, we, move, we move the event so that it can be more accessible and available uh, to more people, um, uh, especially the smaller Catholic book and gift stores. They, um, they tend to drive to the event, and uh, having the event in their area of, of the country gives them an opportunity to, uh, to attend. That's great. And it's, it sounds like it's going to be another great uh, lineup as well. Could you highlight some of the uh, moments that will be seen during the event? Sure, I'd be happy to. We, we're, our event follows a familiar pattern. It's a, it's a three-day event. It'll take place um, uh, Wednesday, July 30th, uh, Thursday, July 31st, and, and Friday, August 1st. And it is uh, an event that, that really brings together both uh, business and ministry, which is, which is not easy to do. It, it's, a, it's a real challenge whether you're operating a a uh, Catholic book and gift store, whether you are a publisher, whether you are a musician, these are all primarily uh, lay people. They're people that are very much uh, on fire for their faith, um, but they're also uh, trying to raise family and pay the bills and such. So this organization really exists uh, to, to serve them. We, we start each day with, um, with a celebration of the Mass. We have um, three priests that we'll be celebrating this year. Father Andrew Apostoli of the CFRs is our, uh, our, our spiritual director. Um, we also have Father Michael Gately, um, a Divine Mercy priest, and Father Frank, Frank, uh, Frank, um, excuse me, Frank Pavone of the Priest for Life will be our, our third priest. We also have the Blessed Sacrament uh, available. This year we're very pleased that um, the St. John Paul II Eucharistic Adoration Association is making available to our trade show a beautiful monstrance blessed by St. John Paul II. That, that monstrance was taken to Rome and blessed by uh, St. John Paul in uh, 2005 to specifically promote um, Eucharistic adoration and uh, 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 supporting priests and vocations, and, and that will be in our prayer room. Um, during the day, we have an exhibit floor that is probably the largest gathering of, uh, of books, materials, religious jewelry, arts, artifacts, and, and, and such. Uh, and those, um, th that's available uh, all day for each of those three days. Um, in, the, in the evening, we have some wonderful inter entertainment and, and other, uh, uh, other activities that are going on. One, one of the highlights will be Platinum Award winning uh, country western singer uh, Colin Ray, who uh, is a convert to the faith. He has a wonderful testimony, a new book coming out, and um, he, will, he will be um, performing for us. Um, we also have a musical concert. We've got a, a, a good uh, helping of uh, Catholic music this year, um, featuring such artists as Gretchen Harris, Robert Koch, and uh, Donna Lee, just to, just to name a few. So um, we have receptions. We have networking. We probably have about 1,000 people that come through the door during those three days, and these are people that are involved in uh, the distribution of Catholic materials, and it can also be the distribution of, of Catholic information and, and media. We're, we're very pleased that uh, uh, Catholic TV has, has been an active participant over, over the past year. So it's a lot of work, um, but it's, a, it's really a lot of fun, and we've seen a lot of blessings uh, come, come from the organization and from the event. 
Well, Bonnie Rogers is a big fan of it, our own Bonnie Roger, Rogers, and a big fan of yours, Alan. Hey, what is the climate like for Catholic retailers today? Well, it's not, uh, it, it's, it's not um, uh, without a good deal of difficulty. Uh, the, these are Catholic, primarily Catholic book and, and gift stores. So um, uh, when, when I first started uh, a few decades ago, about half the product mix was books. And uh, 20, 25 years ago, we didn't have a, the, uh, the Internet when no one had an email address and, and media wasn't digitized the, the way it is now. So whether you are a Catholic book or gift store or a broader Christian uh, book and gift store or a Borders, you know, a, a, a general market store, people are buying more and more of their books online. That's a trend that's uh, accelerating and will likely uh, to continue. So there's been a readjustment. Um, there was a big, uh, the BEA, which is the big general market uh, booksellers exhibition at the Javis Center in New York, they, they talked about this a great deal. Uh, the number of independent stores um, uh, is, uh, is, is shrinking. Um, on the positive side of that, we do have stores that are coming up with some creative ways to hold different events in their, their store. Um, they are becoming more active in the community in, in out, outreach, and they're, they're doing that to, um, uh, first of all, to be, to be part of the new evangelization, to be part of, 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 of their ministry. But it's also, they also need to expand what they do, reinvent what they do to some extent. So it's, um, to answer your question, it's, it's not an easy time to be an independent Catholic book and gift store owner, but these are folks that are is just very, very um, dedicated to the work that they do and uh, very creative in, in, in how they can uh, uh, adjust to the times. Well, as, as we mentioned, too, the trade show is a great event for Catholic TV to connect with authors, artists, as well as uh, many other different individuals who are working in uh, all kinds of different Catholic avenues like uh, media and uh, journalism as well. But uh, if people want to find out more about where they can go to find out information about the Trade Shield itself, uh, what can they do? Well, we, we have a website that uh, would give the information on the organization and the Trade Show. It's uh, www.catholicmarketing.com. And uh, that, would, uh, that would give the information. We have a toll-free number, too, if anyone's interested in calling us direct. It's uh, 1-800-506-6333. Well, Alan, thank you, as always, for joining us today. Always a pleasure, and best of luck with the trade show this year. Well, thank you for the wonderful work that you're doing there at Catholic TV, and a special um, uh, shout-out to Bonnie Rogers. I'm a, I'm a big fan. She's a wonderful lady, as you well know, and, yeah. and, and, and such. So um, thank you, and God bless you. Thanks, Thanks Alan. Alan.